The story of a pregnant woman sitting on a motorbike on a dusty, terrible road moved Deputy Roads Minister to make a promise on December 4, 2017. The town roads for Bandai has been uh, a priority for, for, for the government. And the, the, the my colleague in parliament has written officially to the ministry and we have further instructed that measurements of those roads and the bills of quantity should be submitted to the ministry. And I'm, I think that the bills have been submitted to the ministry and we are going to immediately work on it to get a contractor to deal with those roads. Um, I, you know, road construction is not a day's event. It involves a lot of work, the bidding process will have to go through, and then a contractor is fixed. But it also depends on the capacity of the contractor. He can work faster to ensure that the difficulties the people are going through. So give and take, I think that uh, by middle of 2018, these roads should have been done. It has passed the deadline given by the minister, and Pandai district roads have still not been tired. Drainage work started close to the district assembly two days before we arrived there. It should at least give residents some hope that a road would be constructed. However, residents are disappointed and displeased. Uh, it's like he promised and he's not fulfilling. And so, in fact, the road is becoming west and we don't know what to do. Even from here, where you have to go to Selga, you find a very difficult problem to get there. And even moving here to Wulese is also one of the major problems they are facing here. But they deceive us that they will construct the road and they are not on it. He said the reason is that they are not working on it. Mm. That is why he is saying they won't do it. That they've just started for him this day. That is today he has sent them, so he's not having hope that they will be able to finish. They keep promising that they will fix the roads, but they always fail. The contractors come here and start working for two days, then they leave. Traveling to Salaga is difficult. Commercial vehicles don't ply this route. The rainy season has rendered roads in a district and motorable and residents are not calling for another promise they are demanding government to just fix the roads Jojo Kobner, Joy News